Hey, 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 yo, yo, what's cracking, my friends? I hope you're smoking good, eating good edibles, just eating good in general, enjoying life. <laughs> We're about to dive in. This video is going to be a little different than usual. It's going to be more of a reaction video. So I have friends send me clips all the time about cannabis stuff because they know I'm deep in the game. So my goal is to get better about putting these videos up and reacting to them because they are usually good videos I get and just thought provoking. So this one here, this Joe Rogan with Andrew Huberman, I think is how you say his name. Uh, let's, without further ado, dive in and we'll see what's going on here. was said about cannabis. I've done multiple episodes about cannabis. I'm not anti-cannabis. I think there's case studies where, excuse me, um, that's a specific thing in science, use cases where, or examples where people with a propensity for psychosis should probably not be doing high THC yes. cannabis. I learned something really interesting, by the way, about this. We brought on an expert, Pretty brought true. on in part, but there was a little bit of a Twitter battle. I put out a solo episode about cannabis years ago. No one had a problem with it. Put a clip on X. Whoa. People came at me like crazy, like crazy. So I invited one of the main academics in that area onto my podcast. He eventually agreed. What was his disagreement with? He didn't like a bunch of things I said, but mainly three statements. One was that I said that there was evidence because there is a published paper I must say this, there is a published paper looking at the differences in subjective effects that people experience with sativa versus indica strains. And he said, there's no evidence that there's a different experience from sativa versus indica strains. That's just all bud tender lore. You shouldn't be saying this. He doesn't smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I think both sides are kind of right here i think you know just from their origin is where sativa and indica were given their names coming from different origins of the world that being said i don't think always like sativa is a sativa indica is an indica i think a lot more goes into it in terms of the terpene structure flavonoids cannabinoid structure and all that but there definitely are buds that make a more sedative feeling and definitely buds that have a more uplifting feeling so it's an easy way to compare the two indica in the couch sativa gets you just kind of up there running going because that's just yeah. not true. Right. So, so I, I said, not... wait, here's the paper. Yeah. Here's the paper. Right. Um, then there were a couple other things. One is Did I said. Did he agree once he read the paper? Uh, he said he would like to see more evidence. When he came uh... on, he was very gracious, offered a lot of useful knowledge. But he um, he really didn't counter with that much. There were some issues around CB, uh, about um, CBD biology versus THC. But what, what is his field of expertise? Um, he's a, he's a, a, works on animal models but focuses on cannabis biology. And mm -hmm. he, so he's very knowledgeable. And mm -hmm. I don't think he's anti-cannabis at all. But he just was, he was checking me on some things that he Maybe felt he that I, weed. yeah, that he, <laughs> Maybe he's from Canada. Weed. He was, <laughs> uh, he's a very nice guy. He, he was checking me on some things that he felt I had not gotten correctly or that weren't adequately supported. So okay. my response was, I did this publicly, come on the podcast. Right. Like, I'm not afraid to talk science. Sure. That's yeah, what yeah, I do. Yeah. Like, let's go. And not in a combative way. Respect. He agreed to come on the podcast. We had a great discussion. And one of the things that he said was the whole idea that you know there's so much more THC in weed now that's um, leading to all these problems. Like the, the weed of today is not the weed of yesterday. Mm -hmm. He said when people inhale, they, they take it by uh, you know vape or they or they smoke it or whatever. There's he, his words are that there's far fewer um, cases of people taking in more. They're able to reach that point that they want to be at without going too far. However even though it's higher potency. Just to stop there for a second, completely agree with that. As people say, it's not the weed of the past. It's so much stronger. All these concentrates, it's so true. However, these laws in certain states that are trying to cap percentages are just fucking dumb in my opinion. However, when people take it by edible, right. now we're there talking. are cases where people get to genuine freak out in psychotic episodes because they're taking in far too much too quickly because you can eat the edible quickly. You don't, it, they're not layering it in until they hit that plane that they want to be Well, at. it's also the conversion to 11 hydroxy metabolite. It's five times more psychoactive than THC. I used to do a joke about it that it lets you talk to dolphins. <laughs> this bit is a true story about uh, edibles and a dolphin experience. But so he wasn't anti cannabis. And in fact, I think it was a case where maybe this brings us back to Twitter where. Tw and that's so true. I talk about it all the time in videos. When you're taking edibles low and slow, we've all had those. Maybe you haven't. It still happens to me sometimes. I take too much. You take too much edibles, dude. It will rock your fucking world. 
That's why when I'm in stores talking to people, hey, are you getting edibles today or something? They'll say, oh, no, you get, oh, they put on this face like, oh, I'm not going down that fucking rabbit hole again. That fucked my mind up because they didn't start low and slow. I've been there. A lot of people have been there. Sometimes it's fun to be there. A lot of times for most people, it's not. It was a very valuable tool. So I put out something. I was going off the literature that I cited. Sorry, phone call. He said, no, 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 no. Listen, there's some issues here. You should um, adjust this. We brought him on the podcast. He was reluctant to come on the podcast. He thought I was going to like set him up for a fall. We've never done that. Yeah, Comes on the know, podcast, yeah, yeah. got the information out there. And then it all just kind of went to a, like a quiet simmer or nothing. And in the end, I think that's the way that all of this stuff should be handled. Whether or not you're talking about one medical treatment or another is, and this is the way you've done it. And this is the example you've laid out for me and for others, right? Which is talk about both sides. Talk to vegans, talk to carnivores, talk to omnivores, talk to people who are pro-cannabis, anti, and worried about psychosis and not. Talk to people that are really pro-MDMA for the treatment of PTSD. Talk to people who are very reluctant. Yeah. I think only there can we get the overlap in the Venn diagram about what the agreements are and what the disagreements are and move forward. And this Especially is Especially long form because then you get to understand how a person thinks about things, right. not just the subject at hand, but maybe other things. That's you get right. to hear their speech patterns and right. their thinking patterns. Overall, pretty solid clip, and I agree with most everything that was said there, especially at the end. That's the way I look at it. We need to have an open dialogue with people. And just like I've wanted to have it on the True Bud Show podcast, have some weed haters on, except I haven't reached out to them. I got to reach out to them. I was hoping they'd reach out to me. And I say haters, they're on their they're on their own path. I don't mean to say haters all the time, but they are out there. There was another clip I pulled up the other day. A friend sent me and it was like this guy going off saying all these wrong stats. And maybe I'll react to that one next. Again, this is kind of a new style video for me. So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with what was said here? And just, you know. What, other, what else do you want to see? Send me some clips. DM me some shit because it's fun. It, you know, it's super easy to do this. A lot of the content I do is really, you know, I put the thought in. I make the videos. I make the infusions. So this is just a nice, fun way to make some fun, cool content for you guys. Thank you for posting up, and I'll catch you on the next video here at True Buds TV, homies.